Good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Yes. All right, it's, it's starting, Andrew, hurry. I don't know how much battery I have. Oh no. Wait, can you do this first? Yes, well that's part of the bill stuff. So, so yeah, I'm gonna do the bill stuff first. Oh wait, we should probably do an intro. Wait, uh, right, we're gonna, I'm just so excited, I can't help uh, myself. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, in this video, we are doing a mystery unboxing. And you're probably wondering, how can you do a mystery unboxing about the flea market? So, Andrew goes early, way earlier than I do, and he buys a bunch Dark of- Dark 30. Dark 30. And he buys a bunch of stuff. And he spends hundreds of dollars on stuff. And I have no idea what he's bought. And then we do these mystery unboxings where it's like, and hey, Andrew, what do you have in the box? I'll tell you what, I have a lot of fun doing this. It this is, is fun. Like, I like enjoy this a lot. There's even stuff in there that I haven't seen yet. It's a lot of Again. fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like a game. I don't know. Like Christmas. Like so, yeah, yeah, so anyway, that's what this video is. We are going to go through the stuff that Andrew got that I haven't seen yet. I mean, granted, I have seen some of it. By the way, that vase is still over on top of that cabinet. Mm. Um, I did see a couple of the items poking out of the boxes because they were so large that I stole them out of the boxes when he wasn't home yesterday. Should I go get them? Possibly would be a good idea. I'm gonna go grab them. Sure. Go ahead. He's gonna go get those. We'll be right back. It's not Murano. It's Murano. It's not. What? It does have a manufacturer. All right. It's Murano. So I guess this is one of the first items we're talking about. Okay, go for it. All right, so this would either be Ellie Smith or Viking. I'm not sure which. I have a hard time telling the difference on the spot. I usually have to look it up. But it is an Amberina glass. So the bottom is yellow and then it fades into red. And that is called Amberina. And I happen to collect swung glass vases. That are, that's what swung, like swing, only swung. Sometimes I, sometimes I say that word and people think I say swan. I don't know, I guess it's my accent. Uh, but this is a swung glass vase. There are two of them. And they have specific names for the different styles. I'm not sure the specific style of this, this one, but I liked it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, there were <laughs> two of them. They were sticking out of the box and I just... What would these normally... If you were selling these, what, a large one like that, what would you I would say probably like sixty or more because of its size. The larger ones, uh, they go. They, I'm in a couple groups where there's collectors, and I believe that they go by inch, like they add price per yeah inch. price per inch. So um, some of the larger ones sell for more. Of course, they're a lot harder to ship. Yeah. Yeah, you almost have to have them like specially crated for oh, the yeah, really Oh yeah, because I'm in ones. that group and then they're like every, like almost every day somebody's posting like the tragedy that is a box of broken glass. Oh. Like, I ordered this one of a kind, blah, 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 blah. And it's like shards. So yeah. so yeah, these are going into my collection. I am not going to attempt to ship these, but I really liked them and I'm pleased with them. Yep. So anyway, let's move on. Yeah, let's not place it on the floor. I mean, I'll put it over <laughs> here. All right. All right. So I think we'll go over the bill stuff. Okay, let's go over the bill stuff. Let's go over the bill stuff. Um, I've got a piece right here. Yes, grab those. I, I thought it was cool. I think it's awesome. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, I was so pleased when you brought that home. Hanging parrots, yes. That was it, another piece that was peeking out of the box. It is made in the Philippines. But it's um, amazing. Parrots are really hot right now. I believe one of them, yeah, this one's got the sticker on it still. Um, that is so fun. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. And it's got that vintage look to it. So, I think it is vintage. I, I think, um, yeah, the sticker looks older. Yeah. 
the I sticker definitely vintage. the sticker definitely looks older. <coughs> um, so yeah, no, I thought that was pretty cool. So I snagged that. And we'll stick that back in the box. I love that so yeah, much. Yeah, that would that would be cool for somebody's porch. Yeah. Tiki bar. Yeah. yeah. Um, this I took out of the frame because I had posted pictures of this in the group trying to do some identifications. Mm -hmm. Um, it is Chinese, not Japanese. This is pretty cool though. I don't know if that's considered a watercolor. Hmm, looks like a watercolor. I'm not quite sure. It's, it's pretty cool though. It's huge. It's 25 inches by, I want to say 16 inches or 18, 16 or 18 inches. That's neat. Yeah, it's got some age to it. Absolutely. Now, the only thing that really irritated me was some jack wagon who put this in a frame, Oh no! decided to scotch tape part of it underneath. And, and I was looking fold at- Fold it? And fold it. And I was trying to figure out how to get the scotch tape off without damaging this rice paper, which is really thin. And I'm not quite sure that's an option. I don't, I'm not messing with it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that was awful. That so, really, yeah. that really made me upset. Um, but we'll figure something out. And um, yeah, that's a bummer. It even looks like somebody ran staples through the top <laughs> when they when they um, put it in the frame. They just liked the ponies. Yeah, it's it, it is a really pretty piece. And I was looking online, and some of these actually bring <laughs> stupid money. So I don't know. I have to do a little more research. Figure out how old it is. Who the artist is. Um, it's hard to do when it's in another language. I know, I know. But now that I know it's Chinese, yeah, I might be able to. I, ha I might be able to find out what it says. I know a couple people that speak Chinese, so I think it'll be all right. Um, Ooh, these are cool. I've seen people taking these old feed bags and making pillows out of them. Some of them have some really cool designs on them. Like this one's got a dairy cow and somebody, they've already split the seam on it. And like this one's got a dairy cow and advertising. Mm -hmm. But that would make for a cool two-sided pillow. Yeah. Um, or you could make two different pillows out of it. Yeah, with, oh, absolutely. With the fabric. Um, this I gotta research the company. I'm not sure who the Hershey brothers were. Hershey brothers in Reinhold Station, Pennsylvania. Right. So these old feed bags are cool. And this one's got a Lone Star stamp on the back from the maker of the bag. Nice. So these are cool. I like those. Oh, what else? Oh, there was some really cool cap gun toy stuff. Um, this is Wyandotte Toy Company. The, this would have had a cast iron cap gun in it. This is probably 1940s, 50s. Hmm. So this is a pretty cool piece. Some of the holsters. How much does it work? I know you know. I couldn't find anything comparable to this particular holster on there, sold or currently listed. Um, the holsters are all over the place, from like 15 bucks a piece on up, into the hundreds of dollars if they have the guns with them. Oh. So I mean, it's it's hard to put a. Somebody specific. needs it for their collection. Somebody, somebody might need a matching holster. They only have one. So these old holsters are always good to pick up, especially if you can get them inexpensive and if the jewels yeah, are still intact. It's very and, impressive that yeah. they still have the jewels. Um, and, and along with the holsters, you'll find these, um, these wrist cuffs or gauntlets. And this, these are complete as well. They have the jewels, the cattle on them. Um, these would have gone. And we've got the little kid's name on it. Yeah, Donald. Donald. Oh, that's adorable. Donald DT. Oh. So um, they have a cloth inside. They're like a very heavy, like particle board, cardboard. Yeah, cardboard. Um, some of them are made out of leather. Those seem to be the better ones mm -hmm. that sell on a, on a higher end. Um, but these actually unsnap. Now I'm not going to try to unsnap yeah, these I because I don't want anything tearing. Especially if they're, they're cardboard, they're probably... Right. What I will do um, is get some, some packing paper inside of this to hold it, help it keep its form um, for shipping. So these are cool. These are really cool. I like those. Very neat. Yeah. Now, these are new old stock. They're a little more modern, but 
cap guns. Everybody loves cap guns. So I grabbed those with the vintage ones. Now tell us the fun fact you learned about listing cap guns. Um, so like 1985, they started putting orange caps on the ends of, of the cap guns. 1985-ish. Um, but one of the eBay rules is you, you for whatever reason, I, you, my listings had always get, gotten thrown off if they didn't have the orange cap. So what I would do is I would get a foam earplug, an orange earplug, and stick it right in the tip of the gun and take my pictures. Mm -hmm. And then I would just note in the listing that the foam orange earplug at the tip of the barrel is for aesthetics only in the photographs, you know, <laughs> like just something like that. And it would be fine. Nobody, it wouldn't get kicked off. So I don't know. They're real funny about that. These do have the orange caps. Um, you have to look up inside the holster to see them. Um, that's not an issue. No, we'll just uh, snap a picture up in up into the bottom of the package. But yeah, they were <laughs> they were still they tootsie toy. So they're actually a decent brand too. Um, snag those. Let's see, I thought this was cool. The Exxon. Yeah, a tiger. Yeah, the Exxon Tiger advertising piece. This is neat. Ink bottle. I feel like I picked that up. Um, umbrella ink, right? Yeah, it's an umbrella ink. I got that that in the morning. This one is probably Civil War, just post Civil War, based on the style of it, and it's not pondled. Um, it's got a doink. It, it's got a doink. Yes, it does have a doink on the lip, but that's all right. This is this is Civil War period. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I just thought this was cute for a good boy. Oh, for a good yeah, boy. Little... We should give that to Ashton. I, I couldn't read the mark on the bottom. No, I can't either. I don't normally pick up printer's blocks. Yeah. But this one was cool. It's kind of like down my road of stuff I like. Um, this is the site of Fort Lehigh. So it's, it's something local here to Pennsylvania. And that wood block on the back is loose. But these printer blocks are cool. Some of them have advertising. There are certain ones that sell very well. This one's going on my shelf. <laughs> For now. I'll get rid of it later when I get bored with it. There's a slag glass. Mm -hmm. uh, Boyd, Boyd glass. I think it's possibly Boyd. I'm not I think positive she is. on that, but... Judging but by other figurines. I just like thought the colors blurry. were insane. Slag glass. There is so much color in that. Yeah. And it's like all over the place. Absolutely. Very nice. I just thought she was really pretty. Um, every once in a while I see a antique tin. This is 1880s, 1890s. Egyptian cigarettes. Hmm. It's got some killer artwork inside. The outside is all decorated. All the edges all the way around are decorated. The bottom's decorated. This is this is just really colorful in really good condition. Um, so, see like that. Nice decorating piece. Somebody had posted a bunch of these in the group. Mm -hmm. And there was one in a pile of scout neckerchiefs this week. Uh, Souvenir France with the lace on the outside, the little handkerchief. Um, I'm thinking World War One. on those. Hmm. I think those are earlier than World War Two. I think that's World War I. Um, scout neckerchiefs, again, more new old stock mixed in. There were some patches in there this time. Um, and these were from a totally different geographical area that he was buying stuff at. So it's just strange, two weeks in a row I get a pile of scout neckerchiefs. Uh, let's see, this is cool. This is a uh, internal revenue receipt from 1891 for tobacco. That's pretty cool. Yeah, So and it was already in a little frame. Light. Internal Revenue Service Maybe. right on the top of it. There we go. Maybe. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, 1890s. But this was revised in 1891. 
So the IRS has been around sucking money out of us since the 1890s <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, I pick these up for my use when I buy bulk bags of like wheat scents. These, mm -hmm. these heavy canvas mint bags, actually, they're, they're good. They're good bags to have. Um, you can store a ton of junk in them. Um, so I, I, I pick these up for storage use basically. Um, I did get a tin litho piece. It is uh, Gerard Station. It's Marks. Oh wow! Um, it's uh, it's got some condition issues on the backside. It looks like they had it near a window, um, wherever it was, because it's kind of ah, faded around the yeah. sides and the, the the one side in the That's back. Weird. Yeah. So and it's got the REA Railway Express Agency on the side of it. Um, it most likely lit up or, or did something because it's got two terminals on it. Um, I'll have to look this one up and figure out exactly what it did. It could have even made um, noise in some way. I don't see anything where it would show light coming out of it. So it did something. I'll find out what it did. And uh, I just thought that was really neat. Somebody would have grabbed that if I didn't grab that. But mm -hmm. I, like, I like Mark's stuff. Mark's stuff is really neat. I think I don't think it gets enough uh, clout like the Lionel and the Plasticville for the train collectors as as it should. Mark stuff is cool. There were a few of these uh, chickens. Chickens. These are Hazel Atlas. Okay. So these are different than the ones I've been getting. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of Westmoreland. Yeah, these are these are Hazel Atlas, and the large one. Chickens. I'm going to assume this is Westmoreland. Yeah. That one's got the red. I am no top. expert on chicken baskets at all. My grandma collects them though, fun fact. I've just never... Uh... And they're milk glass. <laughs> yeah. That might be why. I picked up... He had bags of wheat, wheat. scents. Yeah. I, again, that's he what I do. He likes to look through wheat pennies and find, cherry pick the good ones. Yeah. Um, honestly, when it comes to coins, wheat scents is what got me into coin collecting when I was a kid. And wheat scents has made me the most money, profit margin wise, like just wheat scents. There's, there's so much you can do with them. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. And they're inexpensive to buy. Like... I don't know why. You just any, gotta find one good one. You have to have you have to have patience. You have to have patience. You have to be into the whole treasure hunting because that's essentially what you're doing when you're looking for varieties. You're and you gotta have good eyes. And you gotta know what varieties you're looking for. Yes. So that is I think that's it out of the bill box. Okay. Oh no, there is one more item in here. It's hiding. You like World's Fair stuff, right? Yeah. These are 1939 oh, wow. World's Fair stamps. Oh, that's cool. So these have all different buildings. They do have some, they have been separated. Yeah, and some I of the see sheets that. Are, are pulled apart a little bit. But these have some, these are all the buildings from all yeah. over the World's Fair. And that's very cool. The 39. So I snagged these. Um, I don't know much about stamps. Well, these Well, these wouldn't have been used for postage. They were just collectors. These were for these were for collectors that went. They were a souvenir item. You could you can put them on an envelope yeah, to decorate your envelope, like people do with like yeah. with holiday seals. Mm -hmm. But these are for collecting and stashing away. So those are cool. That's, that's the bill box. Oh, what else do we got here? Okay, this is the box that I have no idea what's even in this box. So. You want to roll with that one first? All right, let's do it. Right. Let's pull this whole thing out. I did see these sitting on top. This is cool. This is for your- My mother's work is never done. Ain't that the truth? For your scouring pad? For your scouring pad. For all that work you have to do as a mother. That's kind of fun. Oh, there's a matching one. Oh, wow. For your spoon storage. Oh. Very nice. And they're marked Lefton. Is that a Lefton sticker? Mm, I can't so tell. worn. Looks like a Lefton sticker, but. 
it's actually just a silver sticker. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to say. Read it. See what else we got in here? Ooh, you got some chicken. I see a, ro okay. a rose bowl right there. That one. Yeah, that's pretty. Ooh. I'm thinking this is made by Mount Washington Glass. They make a lot of these rose bowls. But they are also made by other companies too. So it's yeah. hard to say it to say for certain. I will probably just list it as a rose bowl. That's pretty though. I like it the way they pretty, fold that in and around. Yeah. And the like color it. changes. I, I really like that. I like it too. Uh, let's see. We got Cinderella. She's got stickers. Mm. She's made in Japan, Japan? but she's Ooh, uh, got. You just miss saying Japan. Japan? I'm sorry. Did I? She's actually pretty. She's yeah, done she's nicely. Nice. She's done nicely for Japan. She is. So we need to look these up. These were, okay, Eric told me the story on these. Okay. These are quintuplets from, I think, the 20s. Yes, I know those They were ones. like the famous quintuplets from yes. the 20s. They each have their own spoon with their name on it. It was Annette, Marie, Yvonne, Cecile, and Emily. Yes, Sue has taught me about these. Yes, so these were in there. They they they're they're really cool. Like they were a big thing. So what we'll do, uh, maybe we can take like a snippet of the history and throw it in the description. Yeah. Um. So you guys can read about these these famous quintuplets from the I, I want to say the twenties, the teens or the twenties. Very neat. Um, and they've got that. Oh, they're just they're they're cool looking. I don't cool. generally buy spoons, but. <laughs> He had them. He had them sitting there, and I was like, "Yeah, let me take a peek at that." Those are cool. So that was like the one thing in this box I actually did get to see. This is pretty. This has got um, peacocks. Cobalt glass. Cobalt glass with peacocks all around it. This is gonna work. Let me get that. I believe that's an anchor for, wait, maybe not, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but. Yeah, I was going to say anchor walking, I think maybe it is. In any case. It's a schwan. It's a schwan, a cobalt blue it's schwan. It's a schwan. I like that. That's actually. really pretty. I really like that. Yeah. That's nicely done. Hmm. Very nice. And we got some chicken. We got an amber Aww, one. A little amber chicken. This one's made in Taiwan. Oh, so this one's a little a newer. That's a special one. So it's a little newer. It's all right. And then this one. This one's probably what, Westmoreland? Mm, probably. They're all Westmoreland. Just like they're all Murano. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a couple of these cobalt blue ones in here. Uh-huh. That one's not marked. This one's not nice. I don't think this goes with this though, babe. I don't know, are they both like that? Uh, switch it. Think that one fit better there. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Yeah, that one fits better there. Hmm, interesting. Little blue one, sorry, I'm not showing you guys. And then we've got a Bluebirds of happiness! Yes. This one's like signed. <laughs> they usually are. I forget this. who makes them, but these are Bluebirds of Happiness. Oh, yeah, and that one's got a different name than this one. Those have two I different names. I don't even names. know the story behind these. Um, and I've bought and sold. This one has a broken beak, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I've, bought, I've bought these before, and Ashton usually... Snags them. Snags them. There's just um, a little pair. We could maybe give him this one. I don't know. Is that bad that I'm saying we could give him the broken one? But he's got a bunch of little ones, and I feel like he, he could have a big one. But if yeah. he wants it. Yeah, if he wants it. If he wants it. Uh, yeah, little And actually, if you if you turn it this way, it, you can see it. Yeah, but if you just, flip it this it way, you won't like see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm clean it and put it on so the shelf. So this we'll is a we'll larger one. I'll just clean it, and I'll just put it on the shelf, and I won't say a word. <laughs> and we'll see if he notices it. They are cute. 
And then there was this little art glass. I have a feeling he's ah. gonna. This is Wheaton Village, mm. so this is this is New Jersey glass. It's pretty. He's gonna want that too. He's gonna want all the glass. I know. I know. I know. I know. I don't all even right. know how he got so into it all of a sudden. I don't know. It's it's crazy. Oh, it's this cute shoe. A shoe. A but it's got nail. A cat. We had found one of those before. Do you remember at the shop in uh, Emporium? Yes. It was a white one. Yes. Yeah. But this has got the kitty cat on the it shoe. Does. It's cool. And it's a blue opalescent hobnail shoe. I want to say it's Fenton. I can't remember 100% if the last one was Fenton or not. I may be wrong. This is really cool. I like that one. Blue and white. Yeah. Alright, this is gonna kick off. I'm going to restart the camera. Okie doke. Alright, it was just the short train. I yeah, it was to only test two this. it was only two locomotives. I know. I'm gonna have to test that on my black light. Yeah. It's I don't got know. kind of a pinky hue to it. It, it does. Could be alicite. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was just like I like it. Just because it was so it. unique, decorative. Yeah. yeah. And no. even the bottom, they even took the time to put all that on the bottom. Like, I, why would you? Why would you spend the time to put that on the bottom if it wasn't a quality piece? It is an interesting piece. So I don't know. I only found one of this guy. I wish there was two. <laughs> he is like the most adorable salt and pepper shaker I have ever seen. Um, but there was only one. Little. Skunk. Little skunk. There is. We're oh. running out of battery. Well, we need to hurry then. I'm only in. I got one box. Of little <gasps> oh, salt. little Bonzo dogs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A pair of little Bonzo dogs. Salt and pepper. Very cute. <laughs> Another little English creamer. Like, Transfer. In an old world garden. Lancaster, Hanley, England. Um, here's a miniature version. It's an, it, it is a three piece mold, um, but it's smaller than the, the one that we got last week. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't have that 3D pop like the no, other one does. No, it doesn't have the food dogs. But it's still a three piece mold. It's Still a pretty looking piece. It is Imari, not Kutani. Anybody want some honey out of the oh, I love that. honey hive? Yes, please. A little glass honey hive. That's great. Maybe we can list this one with the for a good boy cup with the puppies and the baby doll. It's got a crack. And the kid, I know. That's I. I didn't notice it till after after Aww. I pulled it out of the box, and the crack was there. It's been there for a while. It's cute though. But it is really cute. It's more German. What all child's cup? This is really cool. This little turned wood box. Oh, I like that. With a little lid. That's actually really nicely done. Too. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Very nicely done. Oh, look! This one's from Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a chip. That's not a crack. It's just a glazing imperfection. It looks like a crack on there, but I think it's a glazing imperfection. Fortunately. Ooh. Some blue, some flow blue stuff. These were. Um, these these are older pieces. These yeah, were in absolutely. the little stack that Patty handed me. Blue willow. Yeah. yeah. Ta da! And this one. I love that blue. Now this one's Austria. This one is also signed Laura Landis, eight ten fourteen. Nineteen fourteen. Yeah. Oh look at that. I feel like we had a piece something that, that matched. matched this. I feel like we have too. Yeah, I feel like there was a matching piece to this. 
Yeah, I feel like there was a bigger platter or something. Yeah. I mean, after a while, all, it all looks the same, but. <laughs> all right, so I'm probably going to get with the sticker, original sticker still yes, on Yes, you know I love crackle glass. And it's got the pommel mark. Crackle glass, a lot of the crackle glass doesn't sell for very much, but I just have a thing for it. And that one's got the original sticker. And it, yeah, it's rainbow. West, West Virginia. Original sticker and all. I love it. Oh, here's another chicken. Oh, chickens! Today, this week was like the week of chickens. The week of chickens! I think we've got enough chickens to last a while. Here's a uh, little Scotty Terrier. I've seen those before. Creamer. I'm not sure who makes them though. A little Scotty dog. Normally I don't pick up souvenir stuff, but this one is a souvenir of Kent, Ohio. Yeah. It's hand painted. <coughs> it is a glass canoe. And if you don't like the flowers in the Kent, Ohio, you just turn it this way and you just don't even know that the stuff's on there. <laughs> I feel like this may glow. I might have to check it. Yeah. Before we list it, yeah. I feel like that might have a, have a little glow to it. What you got there? Chopping. Made in Japan. Japan. And it's got a little morigage. Oh yeah, and it's got like a people scene on there with a boat and yeah, it's, it was pretty. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, teapot. Oh, there was a choo choo train Ooh. candy bottle. I love it those. It does things. not have the lid. Yeah. But it's the locomotive. That's cool. I know a dump where there's like a ton of these. Do you really? I we do. You want to go dig some. Okay. I want to go dig some. Yeah, I dig them out of there all the time. I want to dig candy bottles. Okay. Okay. This little guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't help, like, for some reason you've got me picking up these, like, little, little figurines. Creepy. Like, this one's Japan. This one's Japan. Aww. And then these guys are adorable. Oh my gosh. This one, this one's marked Japan. These, these ones are adorable too, like. Yeah, they are. Too cute. I love this them. This is Japan, but I thought it was a really neat looking wall, oh, pocket. wall it's, pocket. It's, yeah. Mm. And it's like pottery yeah, or like clay it. or something. Nice. I don't know how you feel about these, but I, I grabbed it because it had design on the lid and refrigerator dish. Yes. Um, this one's got... Vegetables. Yeah vegetables <laughs> so um it is it's federal glass f in the shield yeah, i'm not sure much this so far i don't know this one looks like it's actually starting to turn color from being out in the sun a little bit so this could actually be older glass this could be early early 1900s with the manganese in it all right all right we're getting there how about a set of these Ooh. We just had a we larger just, yeah, set. We had a set of these recently. This one's got. This one's nicer. Um, it's got some damage though. Oh, uh, does it? The, the oh, flowers. the flower. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. Mm. It's still nice though. And there's four. Oh man, four. they were beautiful, weren't they? I feel like they would still sell, even we'll with the damage. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out with those. Yeah. Oh, those are nice. I'm gonna say Bohemian glass. Uh, I did pick up a few more books. Antiques of American Childhood. Uh -huh. So this is gonna have a lot of toys in it and dishes and good stuff. This is Jade. This is Ooh. a book all about Jade. Not that we usually come across any of that. Stained glass. Mm -hmm. Decorated stoneware pottery of North America. I feel and like that may come in handy. Yeah, and it's in it's like a sleeve, which is great. Ah, almost there. Almost. The battery is going to run out. Almost. And I'm not switching cameras. Almost. The video will just be done. What? Oh, they they're cute. Are cute. Salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. Nipping. Do you like nipping? I do. Nippin'. That's nippin'. 
That's kind of like Japan, only earlier. And this is Lima J. Limo J. Little, little Lima J pitcher. It's not actually, everybody's gonna end up saying Limo J. It's Limoj. Um, I grabbed this. I probably won't list this. This is cool. This is actually an eye wash. Yeah. Um, those actually little came with cup. the bottles of the saline. Oh, did they? Yes. Oh. And another little Japan. He's a little soldier. A little soldier. A little soldier. Ooh, and purses. Uh -huh. Ta-da. I think I actually got these from Bill. Yeah. Yes, I think I actually get these from. Is a follow up from the other week? What is this? I don't know. I think it's a little mirror. I think you're right. I think it is a mirror. I think there's a mirror in there. And Maybe it's, like, it's money. It's like new old stock vintage. In yes, there. it is. It is a mirror. This I'm not gonna really play cool. with it. I'll cut myself. This is really pretty. It's right. beaded. It is very pretty. And it has all of its too. little stones too. I'm impressed. A little purse. An evening bag. Oh, this one had a, like a little extra little wallet thingy in it. You can see that that one's falling apart. That's not even. Yeah. But this one's beaded. This one's really nice too. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, and I love how heavy they are because yeah. the beads. It's always like. And they actually do like swirls in it. So it. it's I know, yeah. Look at that. A little change purse. That's cute. Yeah. Or it'd probably be big enough to fit your your ID, your credit card. You know, yeah, if you wanted actually. something small just to keep your little yeah. stuff in. And that is it. That's, That's it? it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And we didn't run out of battery. So. Not as epic as last week. No, but you've got some good pieces here, though. But I, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy, too. Yeah, very nicely done. Yes. So we got some good stuff at the flea market. I'm pretty thrilled with everything. Good job. I'm Ruff. proud of you. <laughs> All right, so on that note, <laughs> uh, I think we're going we're gonna to head out. I've got errands to run, videos to film. I've got 75 packages to pack. That's right. But we will see you all tomorrow. Later. Bye. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>